Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a dot challenger or dot charger. Many of the components on these two vehicles actually will be interchangeable. They are built almost on the same platform. And we will explain in this video today, guys, how to test seat belt pretensioner. How to know if it's blown, if the car was in an accident, whether you need to have that one rebuilt or replaced. Some people, okay, have them sent on eBay. They rebuild them for a cheap price. Comparing, uh, compared to buying a new one that could be really expensive. Stay with us, we'll explain how to test it, how to find out if it's bad. Uh, another thing guys, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos, guys. Uh, we have uh, videos about engine work, mechanicals, transmissions, engine codes, fuses. We have guys more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And why we guys do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. What we have here guys, a good and a bad seat belt pretensioner. So that's a seat belt pretensioner. Okay, it has a steel cable that holds your belt. That's explosive right here. It's part of the airbag system. And when you're in a crash, it's going to shoot that way practically. And it will shorten the seat belt so it gets the slack out of it. Now, uh, guys, consider this video for entertaining purposes only, not a how-to video. It's part of the airbag system. And if you're not qualified and certified, to work on airbags, it can lead to bad guys, okay, bad problems. Now, here, what do we have, guys? We have the voltmeter set on ohm, ohm reading. I get one LED on one wire, the other on the other one. Check this thing out. The reading that we get now, okay, is zero ohms, guys. Zero ohms. So, that's the bad one. That's the blow. That's how we know if it's bad. Now, let's get the new one. We're going to compare both and see what it looks like and you can find out the difference. So guys, if you have a dot challenger or a charger for the seat belt pretensioner, we got those repaired. They came back, guys, okay? You can notice now the rope is longer because it was contracted because the explosive was activated and it was like, it looked way shorter than that. Now, with that being repaired, okay, most of the cars, when you test seat belt pretensioner, good pretensioners, used to be uh, uh, used to be around 2.1 to 2.3 ohms. On this dot charger challenger, that generation from 2012, 14 up. On a good one, guys, if you test it with the ohm meter, I have it set at ohms. Okay, if you hold it, it will approach zero ohms. Check it out. Not like you don't have connection, you just have zero ohms of resistance. So that's what should be on a good Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, anything like that, guys. Okay, pretensioner newer generation. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.